I decided that I wanted to prove that I could do this. Proving Ground is a memoir that uh, talks about my journey through uh, technology and race relations and business really traces uh, from the time that uh, I was a kid and got interested in electronics and developed a desire to have my own electronics company. There was one night at General Motors Institute that kind of set the tone for my business career. I was wandering around campus with nothing to do and I wandered into the gym at GMI and there was a an electronic music concert going on. And I was fascinated by this combination of art and engineering, so much so that I decided that I was going to build my own music synthesizer. While I was here at Michigan, I built a lab in my bedroom with an oscilloscope and all the circuits that I was building for this uh, uh, digital electronic music synthesizer, but I was I was so focused on on building this synthesizer, and it actually ended up becoming my master's thesis. What I found while I was at Bell Labs was that there was a device I was actually using in the lab that used almost the exact same technology that my music synthesizer used, and that became our first product. So, in a lot of ways, you could say. The groundwork for that first product was laid here at Michigan. The technology, certainly. We completed this sale of the company two days before Thanksgiving. And so it was kind of like a combination of Thanksgiving Day and Independence Day. Uh, that, that was the feeling that uh, I had, and it was, it was truly overwhelming. Going around internationally, I found that being open and respectful, I think those things are the most important. I would encourage young people, students, to get international experience uh, now. I tell my own kids, if you have an opportunity, go over there and work. You have to be strongly motivated because the amount of work you have to do to start your own business is just unbelievable. After I left the business, I got immersed in my local community and one of the things I was on the board of a after school program small after school program in Red Bank New Jersey we were able to raise the passage rate on the eighth grade performance assessment test in 2001 25 percent of the kids in this town only 25 percent pass this test in 2005 over 60 percent of the kids pass this test so one of the most rewarding outcomes of starting this business was that I was able to establish a scholarship endowment here at the University of Michigan in the name of my mother and father for young people who embody their values. And it's uh, interesting that we're in a room here that's uh, de dedicated or devoted to George Haddad because when we had the luncheon where we introduced this first scholarship, we, we gave the first scholarship, uh, George Haddad was there, and my mom was there. But this was one of the most emotional situations, occasions that I've been involved in. It was really a sweet occasion because my mother got up and started crying and told about her experience coming up from the South, having to leave the South because one night when she was working in the hospital there, she used a white bathroom and was reprimanded for it and decided to leave there and come north and talking about her experiences in Flint and how she had opportunities up here and was able to to move beyond that. Well then George had dad got up and said, and he almost started crying, and he said that his folks were goat herders in Lebanon and he had the opportunity to come here with this family, but it showed me that so many people are striving, trying to better themselves, trying to come together, and here in Michigan, both my parents and George Haddad found the opportunities that they were looking for to build their lives and to make their lives better and to make lives better for other people.